Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, good people of Maine, good people of Brunswick. All of you on the streets, all of you in your cars, all of you around this great green on this resplendent day here in the great state of Maine. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for caring about how we spend our tax dollars. As the school board chair of MSAD 15 in Grey New Gloucester, I know exactly how we spend our tax dollars, right? I can't spend any dollars that I don't raise. And I get my money from two places. I get it from the state of Maine for all of our tax dollars, and I get it from the property taxes of our little towns of Grey New Gloucester. And every single year, it's the same story. Costs are going up a little bit. Our health care is going to go up 5%. We got to give raises to all of our staff. 67% of our budget is wages and benefits of our great staff, our bus drivers, our nutrition workers, our teachers, our ed techs, our administrators, all of them working super hard every day, especially this past year, to make sure that our kids have an amazing education in Gray New Gloucester. And every year, we got to try to get that little bit more out of our taxpayers of Gray New Gloucester. We got to up those taxes just a little bit more, 2%, 3%. And this year, we got a great surprise, right? Wonderful news, wonderful news. The property value of Gray and New Gloucester has gone up 12%. Isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? And that means that I get $650,000 less from the state because my property is worth more. I'm sure all of you got 12% raises last year. That's what happened, right? You got a 12% raise right there, right? Out there at the back, you got a 12% raise? Well, I got to find 12% more money because my property values went up. And then I see over here in Bath, I just drove by it. I see in Bath, I see uh, Senator King and Senator Collins having a great time on the deck of some battleship. I don't know what it is. I don't care what it is. It's some giant destroyer meant to destroy things. And each one of those costs $2 billion, $2 billion. And isn't that, a, isn't that a coincidence? Because guess how much money the state of Maine sends to our schools every year for our schools? $2 billion, same amount of money. So for that $2 billion, you can educate just about every kid in the state of Maine, or you can build a giant warship that's gonna go destroy things. How do you wanna spend your money? I wanna spend it on schools, I wanna spend it on kids, I wanna spend it on ed techs, I wanna spend it on teachers. I don't wanna spend it on war machines. Think about our priorities, think about our values. And you want to talk about jobs. I hear Senator King and Collins talking about jobs on the deck of this warship. Well, how many jobs are there in education? When I spend $2 billion in education, I get 25,000 jobs. Are there 25,000 jobs over at BIW? Anybody know? No. I don't think so. I don't think there's 25,000 jobs over there. And if you add up all the money that we spend on our property taxes, we got 50,000 jobs, 50,000 jobs in education. Do those, those jobs don't matter, right? The bus driver's jobs aren't jobs. The ed tech's jobs aren't jobs. I think they're jobs. I would much rather create jobs with education, which is efficient, which doesn't use up fossil fuels, doesn't use up natural resources, doesn't use up steel. And it certainly doesn't drop bombs on people that are just going about their business mild-mannered right? And actually what it does is it makes better people. I want to invest my tax dollars in better people. I want to invest my tax dollars in something that gives us a future. And that's why I find it immoral and unconscionable that we would spend $2 million on a war machine when we could be spending that $2 million on the great children here in Maine educating them. So thank you for being here. And remember, we can spend our dollars better. Thank you very much.